The healthcare crisis is the economic crisis, is the racial injustice crisis. People need to understand how bad things were before. In 2018, when the economy was still in supposedly great shape, there were 37 million Americans, including 11 million American children, who lived in homes that couldn't afford enough food. Now, I know worser isn't a word in English, it should be, but things went from worse to worser. There are probably over 50 million Americans now struggling against hunger, and uh, tens of millions of Americans have lost jobs, tens of millions of kids are not getting school meals. So we really do have the greatest hunger crisis in modern American history. As we're speaking, there is a nationwide, really a global uprising happening around police brutality and violence against the black population, specifically in this country. And we're seeing extraordinary armaments coming out on the side of the police. As you look at that, as someone who deals with hunger and has predicted 54 million hungry Americans by the end of this year, um, what's your reaction? We live in an odd time where the only Americans with a constitutional right to food are prisoners. And, and so we have a really distorted sense of priorities in this country. Dr. King once said, what much does it profit a man to be able to eat at an integrated lunch counter if he can't afford a hamburger? And you know, the original March on Washington was a march for justice and jobs. And unfortunately, in the decades since then, we've sort of unlinked in the public's mind the civil rights struggle from the economic justice struggle, when in my mind, they are indelibly uh, linked and we need to pursue racial justice and civil rights at the same time we pursue economic rights and make it so that no one should loot if they're rich and some no one should have to loot. Uh, uh, loot if you're poor, let everyone can earn enough money and has an adequate safety net in their jobs to be able to ensure that everyone can eat. Do you think hunger has something to do with the rebellion, the, the, the uprising that we're seeing now? There's no question that economic deprivation is an underlying feature of this uprising, not for everyone, but for a lot of people. And you know, the COVID crisis is directly tied to malnutrition because people who are malnourished are more likely to get COVID, they're more likely to die of it. And that's why we see communities of color and low income communities that have the highest death rates from COVID, the highest transmission rates from COVID also have the highest levels of poverty and hunger. Are there any models that you're seeing emerging addressing this crisis or policy that you think more people could or should get behind? The only thing that's really working are some of the provisions placed in the second stimulus bill by Speaker Pelosi and the House Democrats, particularly the PEBT program. PEBT stands for Pandemic EBT. It's a program that every parent of kids in public schools is getting a card uh, on it to, to basically allow them to shop like they would with the SNAP program, the food stamps program, even if they're not currently involved which is getting billions of dollars worth of food to millions of low-income families, including the families of undocumented workers. Uh, many states are not access, uh, accessing that well enough, but in New York State alone, that's going to provide over $800 million worth of food to the parents of over 2 million uh, children. And so public policy does work. When you pass bills and implement bills that fund um, billions of dollars for millions of people, there's less hunger. When you don't, there's more. We see what works, we see what doesn't work. If we just resort to the band-aids we used in the 2008 economic crisis, we're gonna be in this place in a few years again. We need systematic structural change so that no one ever in America ever has to face hunger again. We have the public's attention. And can we take this anger and outrage and energy and understanding that so much going on is acceptable and turn that into a broad-based productive social movement?